Charles Napolds unequivocally sets the standard when it comes to ethical leadership and high quality uh, expectations for maintaining our integrity. You'll hear words like a gentleman, very ethical, very committed. One of my favorite expressions is the world is run by the people that show up and Charlie shows up. He's my uh, key mentor and I want to be like him when I grow up. That strength that he has is the real reason he's had the remarkable success he's had in both the corporate world and also in his family life. I mean, he's always there, he's, he's committed, he's all in. Uh, he doesn't uh, undertake a task until he's uh, committed to it, that he's going to give it his all and he's going to see it to the end and uh, that's what a true leader is. After our company's birth in 1949, uh, we experienced uh, growth throughout the years. The company's growth has been centered around some very basic principles. Uh, one of those principles is uh, ethical leadership and integrity. Bob, our founder, and also exemplified by Charlie Napolz's involvement in the company, insisted that we maintained our ethics uh, regardless of all else. Uh, even some years when we didn't have that great a profit, we maintained our integrity and our ethical method of doing business. And that's a demand that came from the beginning and then certainly been administered through the years by Charles. The Napolz organization has been instrumental at, from a corporate standpoint, but just from uh, supporting families in Conway. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of people who have gone through this organization and, and work for the Nabholtzes. The people at Nabholtz are like Charlie. They are the fi they are wonderful people, down to earth people. I think they see that in, in what they needed to be doing from a personal standpoint and how they treat other people from the way Charlie treats them. Anywhere you go, if you run into people and you mention that name, that's all you have to say. You know, I know the Nabholtzes, they've done this or they've done that, they've done this building or they've done this uh, initiative in our community. And you'll always hear the same thing. I agree with you. They, they are universally respected. They are uh, universally admired. And the, it's like the, the shield says, integrity. Well, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm terribly jealous of Charlie. I forget, I think it was his uh, 72nd birthday. Charles shot his age in golf. That's pretty remarkable. Now, according to what I shoot, I'll live to be well over 100. He is just a steady golfer. Uh, he doesn't hit many errant shots. It's there, putts decently and just beat you based upon just consistency. And I think that's kind of reflected in his life. I can't think of a situation where I've ever seen Charles fail to do the right thing. And I think the definition uh, that we use here, and a lot of people do, uh, but Charles epitomizes it, is integrity is doing the right thing when nobody's looking. They, they actually ran a university here that helped young men in their uh, various fields of construction and to uh, gain uh, entry into that profession and mature over the years so they became master craftsmen. That shows uh, their overall commitment to making their company better, to encouraging uh, their employees uh, and others to uh, improve their, themselves. The day my dad passed away, Charlie Napos called me. The phone rang and I answered the phone. I said, hello. And he said, hey, Luke, this is Charlie Napos. First of all, I wanted to tell you how incredibly sorry I am about the loss of your dad. He said, I think you know that I loved your dad. And I said, yeah, Charlie, I know, and he loved you back. And he said, but that's not the real reason for my call. He said, I want to explain something to you. And I said, yes, sir. And he said, the Napoltzes and the Gordys have had a long, close, personal relationship for the last 45 years. And he said, you and I are gonna keep that up. Do you understand me? And I said, yes, sir. Once you've met Charles and you see what kind of person he is, both personally and professionally, uh, you can't help but be inspired uh, and know that it is critically important for our company uh, to maintain the standards that he set.